Hello friends, it's Jim O'Rear. Welcome back to Jim O'Rear's Wacky World. Today, we are taking a look at the Elvira figure that came out for Pride Month in June. I'm a couple months late with this because the distributor had some issues getting them out and uh, they were supposed to be out in June and I just got it. And they said, sorry, problem with the warehouse. But anyway, <clears throat> if you have not seen the Pride Elvira, it's a very cool figure. Take a closer look. This is the Elvira Over the Rainbow version of her little uh, collectible figure. You may remember, if you're familiar with these, that uh, the company came out with a lot of different versions of these. One in a red dress, one in a black dress. There's a signature series. And this one came out in June, just a couple of months ago, for Pride, to celebrate Pride. And... Um, they were a little slow getting these out because apparently the company had some type of uh, warehouse issue. But uh, they are out everywhere now. And it's Elvira. Nice little likeness there in her rainbow colored outfit. It's got some accessories here. There's a flag that you can decorate uh, to be the flag of your choice. A couple of different hands. There is another face. And also her book that she wrote. These are the stickers where you can make your own uh, pride flag. They've got a, you know, a, just a typical rainbow flag. They've got the trans flag. Um, she's standing on a yellow brick road base and uh, very cool. Now, um, you'll see here that uh, if you're familiar with these or you, you have another one of these figures, they used to, uh, the older figures have where you change her head and changing her head is very very difficult on these for some reason it's just the shape of the head all the hair and all that so that little extra little face plate that they have with this one is uh, is very nice and uh, you'll notice it's a really good likeness of cassandra peterson as elvira right there and um now i was speaking about the, the changing the head as opposed to the face so the face plate here has um it's just got a couple little things on the back of it that just sort of plug in to to the the skull and it's really easy to do and uh, i'll show you how it how it works here um you don't have to just work that head off and on um and this is not easy with one hand holding the camera and one hand trying to remove the face but two hands is super easy uh but anyway you can do this with one hand as i have just shown <laughs> now um the face just pops off just like that You'll see it's got two little holes in there where the other face plate plugs in. And uh, it's so much easier than the other Elvira figures they've made. It's just to slide those little, little pegs in there and go, as opposed to changing the entire head. And then when you get her set up and decorate the flag and all that, uh, I have chosen the kind of all-encompassing flag and one of her hands up and her surprise face I, I like when she does her little surprise face for her photos and uh, she stands like this I decided I was gonna put the book right there on the yellow brick road by her feet next to her signature and that is a closer look at the over the rainbow version of the Elvira collectible figure very very cool for pride month there you go that is the Elvira figure that has been released for pride month a little bit late with it coming out um, and shipping, but uh, there you go. You can put it up all year round and uh, not just for June. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you have, click that like button to let the powers that be know that you like the video. And while you're at it, click on follow or subscribe and you'll be notified when I upload new videos. But thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.